guys, welcome back to my temporary sewing room. My name is Becca and in today's video, we're gonna dive into box number three for the Little Box of Figs program. If you don't know what this is, I'm gonna put a link to the program in the first comment down below this video and you can get all of the details about it there. Long story short, it's a year long subscription program that ships boxes once a quarter, so every three months. And the price for the box varies depending on what Miss Joanna from Fig Tree curates for your box. I will tell you that I don't feel like this is a savings box, meaning you're not getting a deep discount on Fabric and Notions. Instead, what you're getting is the latest patterns, fabric, and really cool notions and things curated directly from Miss Joanna herself. So keep that in mind. I don't remember what the cost for this box was, but what I'm going to do is put on the screen right down here how much this box cost me so that you can judge for yourself whether you think the value is here. Overall, I think the value is there. You're just not getting a deep discount like you would with some other subscription boxes. All right, let's dive in and see what we got. I have my letter and all of the items from the box spilled out in front of me so I can make sense of what I'm going to show you. I want to let you know there are two projects in this box, your main project and a little project. I'm going to show you those first and then we'll get into all the extras. So for the main project, we're going to make a wall quilt called Holly Berries. It looks like this. It will measure 23 inches by 23 inches. Of course, you can also use it as a table topper. I think this is great for Christmas and it's in the traditional red creams and greens that fig tree is known for. Of course, if you're going to make a fig tree pattern for a fig tree box, you need some fig tree fabric. And so this is what we've got here. There are several prints to use in the box. I will show you each of these. And there are instructions in the letter that tell you which prints they used for which fabric. They basically pulled the fabric that the pattern calls for, like the same prints, so you get the same designed look. There's a little bit of white creams, reds, and greens. And so it looks like it might be a mix of the Christmas line with a little bit of pumpkin blossoms mixed in, but they've done it in such a way that it definitely reads Christmas. So this is your main project. The little project is going to use this pattern to help you decorate this towel with this floss and the scraps from your main project. So you'll have a really pretty little Christmas towel. They do have a sheet of instructions in here for how you could do it. It looks like what they're recommending is making three of these stars to go in the lower right hand corner and then you can hand stitch the quilting around it to really give it a little extra pop. Super cute. All right, now let's talk about all the other little goodies that are in here because I'm really excited to show you what we got. First up are some Christmas labels. There are four of them here and they look like this. Joanna says, starting this year, we decided to give everyone two stickers and let you put them wherever you would like. Feel free to add one to your box if you keep the boxes or add them to a folder or a notebook. For this Christmas sticker, we decided to create them as labels instead. So there are four included instead of just two. And these can be used for any handmade gift you might make this holiday season, whether it's a quilt or something else handmade or even a baked good from your kitchen. You can add these sweet little labels for an extra personal touch. I love this and I would love to see more things like this from Fig Tree. The next thing that we have is an enamel pin designed by Joanna and it looks just like that. This is called the Christmas Rose Hips Enamel Pin and she said that she designed this to mimic one of her all-time favorite fig tree patterns, rose hips, in a classic red and white color combo and she says it is perfect as a little Christmas adornment on your sweater, your jacket, I just dropped it, <laughs> or your bag, tote, notions catch-all, or even your bulletin board. I end up finding endless uses for these little classy embellishments and I love collecting them. That's what Joanna wrote. I actually love enamel pins, but I never know what to do with them. So as much as I'm drawn to them, I don't really collect them, but I'm happy to have this one and I will put it with the other ones that I have gotten in boxes that are super cute. 
Our next item is a package of Orvis fabric soap. She said that this is delicate fabric soap and it got their attention not only because of its reputation for biodegradable safe soap for vintage and delicate quilts, but also because of its fun retro packaging. It's perfect as a stocking stuffer for yourself or a quilty friend too. So there you go. That's what it looks like. Definitely has that vibe. And um, yeah, quilt soap. The next item that's in our box is a pair of fig tree snips here. This is what they look like. Look how beautiful they are. And they have just a really cute little sheath. They did write in the letter that these are custom snips with a custom sheath designed exclusively for fig tree quilts by the folks over at It's So Emma. So I'm just gonna pull them out and see how they work. They look like they'd be really good scissors. So here's the sheath. It is made out of like a leather material. Super pretty, very cute. These are the scissors. The point is very sharp. They work pretty well. At least the open close action does. Let me see if I can just cut a couple threads. Yep, they cut nicely, very nicely. In fact, I'm pretty sure I had a pair of scissors that looked just like this that I think I may have gotten in a fat quarter shop box previously and I loved them. But I will tell you, this sheath is going to come in extremely handy. I didn't use the sheath or maybe I didn't get one. And so these scissors, the ones that were like this dropped and they caused the tip of the scissors to blunt just slightly. And ever since then, they didn't cut right. Like it, it just was out of alignment and they weren't good scissors after that. So really happy to have another pair to replace those. And this time I'm going to leave them in the sheath when I'm not using them. So if I drop them, I don't, you know, ruin them. The last thing that we have in the box actually came in this cute little bag. And it is a set of bamboo coasters from a company called Built Quilt. Joanna writes in the letter that once she saw these, she knew that she had to include them in our box, even if she could only put two instead of the traditional set of four. And so what we've got are these bamboo coasters that are designed to look just like a wooden barn block. This is the first one in my set. And on the back side, you can see the engraved built quilt logo, and you've got some little feet to keep this elevated off of your surface. This is the second coaster that I got. That's really pretty. I love that. And then on the back side, of course, you have the logo and the four feet. So we've got two bamboo coasters. I did check out the website. These, I think, come in a set of four for like $14 or $15, so they are super affordable. And you're supporting a local artisan when you buy these. So this would make an excellent Christmas gift for your quilty friends or maybe just for your own sewing room. That's everything in box number three for Little Box of Figs. If you want to check out the program and see if there are spots to sign up for the next iteration, the website is in the first comment down below this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye!